the Thoughty or Tea podcast. I, I, I did want to ask something because I, I know that, you know, because you, you do all like these kind of performance based things. Um, do you find it easier to to do your performances and to do like interviews and stuff as opposed to like situations sort of outside like real life where there's no like topic where you meet people and you talk to people like do you find that it's easier for you to to do it when you're in those kind of performance interviewee roles or do you do you find that the two are both both Um, quite well i think they're both easy i i just think it's always easy and the best thing to do when when you're yourself i'm trying to like think of mm-hmm. what to say. Mm-hmm. but the best thing to well, do I know, is i know for me for me it's like i i'm really good in situations where i know what i'm supposed to be doing or talking about whereas like in in real life situations when when people come up to talk to me i i just have no idea where to take the conversation like i i don't know there's like no rules like if you meet someone new like you don't know what they like and what they don't like and you have to go for all this crazy small talk to get to a point where you can talk about something whereas when you when i have situations like when i'm doing my podcasting or when i'm doing my public speaking or being interviewed it's like i i I feel more comfortable doing those things which i think is very weird for some people to hear than like chatting to people outside of that (laughs) yeah i i always feel like well the best thing to do is be yourself and i always think the i can get my thoughts out better when i write it down Sure. I know I was I was talking to someone and there's the little voice app thing on Instagram and then I listen I always like to listen back to it and I just think I sound really weird but then I wrote <laughs> it down and it's basically the same thing what I said and I just thought that looks so much better I don't sound like an idiot and that's probably why I'm an aspiring writer. Yeah, I've heard from a lot of people that you know they're because I, I guess with writing, it's it's pretty much void of all indirect aspects. Like it's literally just your direct communication through writing. You can't like write something in a certain font to express a certain way that you're saying something you have to like describe things and explain things rather than like express them and i i used to find that 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 used to be the reason why i i gravitated towards like creative writing and you know i i would say the same as well especially about like complex things or emotional things i find it a lot easier to get like my thoughts out and have them explained better when i write them hey up youtube hope you have enjoyed this podcast clip so far and if you have why not check out the full episode which you can find on my youtube channel or on other streaming services like google apple um, spotify you can find it pretty much anywhere you want to if you have enjoyed this make sure to like subscribe drop a comment down below even if it's something simple like sending me a heart or an emoji it really really does help me with the algorithm All of my links to my socials, like my daily Instagram blog posts, are down in the description. But other than that, I hope you enjoy the rest of this clip. It's taken me a while to get to a point where I feel confident um, expressing and explaining with my voice. It's something that I've had to, like, grow, but I've always had that, like, writing side of me. Definitely. And I I just feel like I'm very direct, too. And that comes out in my writing where I can just write down how I feel. And then that's done. And Mm -hmm. a lot of writers feel that way, too. But then you get authors like Victor Hugo from Les Mis, and he can go pages and pages and pages describing a rock. And I've, <laughs> I've noticed that with a lot of autistic people too. And that's totally yeah, valid. Yeah. yeah. I love it. It's like, um, parentheses, like using, using like brackets or 
put it, like adding things on at the end to like explain ways that people might interpret misinterpret what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we tend to do that a lot. It's it's funny. It's like um you never just get people sending you a message. It's always like a message and then something else and then some a little bit more about what you mean by the message. <laughs> Definitely. I need to do that next time. Seriously. <laughs> People will be saved. Yeah. yeah. Yes. 